Tim Flannery is the government's chief climate commissioner and his job is to scare us about man-made global warming. He's good at it. Five years ago, for instance, he warned the seas could rise as high as an eight-storey house. Anyone with a coastal view from their bedroom window or kitchen window or wherever is likely to lose their house as a result of that change. So anywhere, any coastal cities, um, coastal areas are, are in grave danger. Really? In fact, this week we learned one person who doesn't think is in grave danger of losing his waterside house to rising seas is Flannery himself. I won't say exactly where it is, but it turns out his own home with his own private jetty is right on the water, near where the Hawkesbury joins the sea. I won't take the Climate Commissioner's global warming prediction seriously until he does and sells up to move to higher ground. Until now, global warming experts have advised pet lovers that to save the planet, we should eat our dog. Read all about it in this handy book from Brenda and Robert Vale, professors at New Zealand's Victoria University. But the Gillard government says, wait, don't cook the pooch just yet. Its Living Greener website, a guide to sustainable living, says you can use it in another way to save the planet. Well, until a day or two ago, when it was rewritten, it recommended you turn off your heating and do what primitive tribes did on a cold night. Stay warm by hugging your pet. Hmm, no change in the world's temperature yet that I can see. Do they really think this will save the planet, Casey? Or is this one giant hoax?